Hi there, it's part two of the Marion Berries. Well, I was just in Montana visiting family and I like to cook for my family when I'm there visiting. It can be challenging to cook for me because I'm gluten, dairy, and sugar-free. So I always like to cook for my family so that they can see that those kind of foods can be delicious and they don't even notice what's missing. So. While I was there, I cooked uh, the roast that my mother had out with my special seasonings. I put the celery and the carrots in with the pot roast, and then I used the special seasoning stuff to make gravy for mashed potatoes and gravy. And then uh, I made a peach crumble for dessert, and it was just so rewarding and gratifying to have my grandniece Kayla tell her mom when she came, she says, Mom, I don't just like this food, I love this food. And of course, everyone loved the dessert. When we got home, my husband suggested that I make another peach crumble soon. And so I thought, well, what a great way to use the Marion berries. We're having a Marion berry peach crumble. So I thought I would just share with you how to make that. I have four peaches peeled and cut up, and then just um, enough Marion berries to fill, fill the dish, and I'm gonna mix up the crumble recipe here. It's, of course, gonna be gluten and refined sugar-free, as well as dairy-free, but I have a little special thing that I've discovered recently, and it's called ghee, G-H-E-E, -E. And what it is essentially is clarified butter. So when you cook and clarify the butter, you remove the proteins and it's the casein that I have issues with. So I don't have problems with ghee like I do with real butter. When I was in Montana, I couldn't find ghee, so I made my own. But when I'm here, I usually buy it just to save time. So I'm gonna put in a half a cup of this and in the bowl I already have a half a cup of gluten-free oats if you don't want grains you can just omit those and maybe add some more nuts or double the arrowroot that I'm going to put in I'm going to use arrowroot because I know those berries are going to get juicy and I don't want this to be runny so I also have three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans in here and you can use whatever kind of nuts you want. I just happen to really like pecans. And then I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of coconut palm sugar. And I use coconut sugar because it tastes a whole lot like brown sugar, but it's actually nutritious. It's got minerals and B vitamins in it, as well as inulin, which is a dietary fiber and a prebiotic that feeds our gut bacteria. So it's much healthier than refined sugar. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of this to go with the half a cup of oats and the three quarters cup of chopped nuts. That was a half a cup of ghee and a quarter cup of arrowroot. And I'm gonna cut it with this pastry blender. If you don't have a pastry blender, you can use a fork. That works perfectly well. Uh, might just take you a little bit longer, but I really like my pastry blender. So I'm just gonna cut this ghee in here. Oh, my oven is preheated. So I'll cut this in here until it's nice and crumbly looking. The ghee's still a little bit hard from being in the refrigerator. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm, anyway, it's nice and crumbly now. I can just throw it on. It Although coconut sugar is nutritious, like I mentioned, it still is a sugar in your body. So it should be considered a, a treat rather than something you eat every day. But 
my husband wanted it and he has been very good he's been on my program for about six weeks and he's lost 21 pounds so this will be a very special treat for him so now I'm just gonna put it in the oven and bake it for about 45 minutes or until the crumble is brown and the peaches are soft when I poke them with the fork if you want this recipe you can find it on my website at terryward.com forward slash crumble recipe that's t-e-r-r-i w-a-r-d dot com forward slash c-r-u-m-b-l-e-r-e-c-i-p-e -E -E. i'm terry ward creating memories with meals